how's the foot? Like, how are you driving the lane? Sean was telling us horror stories about having to do that. Yeah. Uh, I haven't I haven't done that yet. Um, I think uh, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, you know, I've obviously I've learned a lot about this injury over the last little bit, and um, I had a partial. Which, after learning about it, I think they they said you'd rather have a full tear. So I think that's been what we've been working through um, in terms of pain management and tolerance and. Um, so that's been the challenge, and I, I think we're just getting to a point where I'm going to be dealing with pain, and it's just getting to the point where it doesn't limit, you know, functionality. Are there good days and bad days? How does that work where you're like a full participant in practice? Um, you know, I would say uh, you just kind of you, you go through practice one day, you see how you feel, and then you see how you feel in the morning. Um, and obviously, I think it's just like anything else. The more you do on it, the the more sore you'll be in the morning. But um, I would say the last couple of days, I've I've felt pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think you have to. Um, you know, again, I, I've been transparent about preparation and schedule and all that stuff. And so my routine, schedule, format, all that stuff is in place. Um, and, and that doesn't change week to week. You know, maybe what I'm asked to do or whatever might change. But my routine doesn't. Has anyone given you good advice about how to play with a injury? Sean was just saying how Drew dealt with the same Yeah. Yeah, look, I've I've had several conversations with Sean. I've had several conversations with Drew about the injury. They both shared with me things that they did that uh, helped them. Um, and you know, I've I've certainly I've been doing those things. We got a great training room, and you know, so it's just staying on top of it, doing everything we can to speed up the process of of having that tissue scar back to the bone and. Um, you know, but again, I think the last couple of days have they've been really encouraging for me. Do you feel as functional as before? Do you feel as functional? I mean, I know Sean likes to say that you play with a certain physicality. Do you feel that you have those things that you're uh, You know, I, I, I hope so. Um, I think that's kind of the question mark where the last three weeks really have been so unique for us in terms of going Sunday to Thursday and then another Thursday to where we've been trying to limit reps and time on the field, time on your feet, all that stuff. And so um, it's hard to simulate a, a game and practice. And, and again, especially the last three weeks. So um, I, I think so, but I, I really don't know because it's hard to simulate what that's going to be like. Uh, related to that, Jason, um, just considering your, your skill set and, and the way you like to play, I, I mean, would this have been a different case if, if you weren't you know, a guy who's running around as much as you are? I'm sorry, one more time? Just considering how important your legs are and the way you play, mm -hmm. um, if, if this was, would this, would this injury have, have uh, affected you differently if, if like, you, know, you were? Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, I think obviously everyone everyone plays the, the game a little bit differently. Um, you know, I can tell you the last couple of weeks, you know, I I probably would have been limited if, if I would have had to go in and play. Um, but we knew that going into it. Um, so, yeah, I, for sure. I think um, – Th this probably affects me more than than other can, can players. Explain, I'm sorry. Can, can you explain kind of what the role was last week? Is, it, is that you, you were good enough to navigate the pocket, but like maybe not go full floor? Is that kind of? Yeah. Things? Yep. I, I was I was there and available in case you know Trevor went down. Um, you know, so that was the plan the last couple of weeks. No. Uh, look, I remember. I remember when Drew did his. Um, I remember exactly 
his movement and how it happened. Uh, and then obviously I'd had significant conversation with him about, about it afterwards. But, um, look, it was Drew's injury, so I didn't internalize it the way that I have now. Um, so I know what it feels like. You know, I've certainly learned more about the tissue and how you rehab it and, and all that stuff where I, I didn't uh, that way before. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh yep, yeah, it was against Tennessee. Um I caught a ball and my foot was up and I went to explode forward and it just popped. How do you view this opportunity? Is it like a big picture I can make my casing or do you look at it smaller and you know, it's just kind of the handle you gotta do what's out of you? Uh I mean look, the situation for me has has always been the same the opportunities that have come my way have been so unique um so that expectation doesn't change whether you know the opportunity i had week one week two or whatever it ends up being um this thursday night and and so forth in the future i i'm going to do my best to take advantage of every every single opportunity and um do everything i can to help us win football games Yeah, uh, obviously it's it's a comforting, nice little security blanket. Um, we we play a, a brutal sport, and you know this year's been a little bit unique for me in, in how many games I missed with a concussion, and now and now this, and so um, it's it's nice to have you know the program backing you the way that the Saints have uh, to me, and getting a new contract, and knowing that we're going to be here for a few years. Um, is is really nice. I certainly didn't want to go anywhere else, um, and so that's it's, it's comforting. And there was a, a lot said about the incentives of quarterback incentives. I'm assuming that's still the goal for you to, to be a quarterback. Yeah, I mean, look, this is this is my fifth year. Um, look, I it, it, my mindset is to take advantage of the very opportunity that I have. Um, you know, and I don't know. Shoot, I don't know what that is to week to week, you know, if I'm being honest. And um, so that this, this thing is just ever changing. And uh, whatever whatever that opportunity is, I'll, I'll do my best. And I, I think that this, this contract and the incentive base pay, all that stuff is just a way to, you know, protect everyone. Yeah, I mean, it, it's hard being a competitive dude and you want to be out there playing and competing and do everything you can to win football games. Um, so I, I think every time you go through situations like this, or and I can tell you the same thing happened to me when I had my concussion, when, you know, the concussion was, was more challenging for me because I was sitting at home watching the games. And I think you realize... Um, you know how much you miss it, how much the game means to you when you can't be part of it, can't be with your teammates out on the field doing that. Um, so the mindset uh, hasn't changed. I think it's you know certainly been a refresher to help me realize um, how much this game means to me. Jason, did anything spur the timing of the contract, either the injuries or preparing to, to get the starting quarterback? No, uh, no, uh, there was there was nothing. In regard to that, this this has been in the works for a little bit and been working through it um, for for a while. And uh, when you do get another chance to start, what, what what are a couple of the things that you're most focused on? I guess doing better after having learned from four starts last year. Yeah, I mean, I, I think um, I can I can think back to last you know last time I was playing and. Every one of those starts uh, was a little bit different. Game plan was different. I think it's having a really good understanding of what it's going to take to win each of those games. And looking back to those games, I, every game was a little bit different. And so I think having a really good understanding of what it's going to take and require to win games um, and then do your best to fulfill, you know, that job and fulfill that game plan to win that game and um so I, I don't have one thing that that comes to mind um 
other than, you know, things change so significantly from week to week and just do the best that you can to, to do your job. I know that if we go to Tom, I know it's a team sport, but given how important the quarterback position is, is there extra energy this week knowing that you could potentially be directly responsible for helping snap a losing streak or turn the season around? Yeah, for sure. Um, I, I think, you know, I've had the experience of playing quarterback and doing this other stuff, and and the the, the two roles are so different. Uh, and there's just nothing like there's nothing like playing quarterback in this league. Um, and so certainly that requires a, an additional, you know, amount of energy and and uh, responsibility that that you you put on yourself, you know through the week and, and uh, on game day. But, yeah, I, I think y you have a greater ability to affect the outcome of the game and uh, energy, focus, all that stuff, like for sure, all that, that plays into it. All right, guys, thank you.